My life is a lie. We've driven to Springville. We've then driven to Delta. So now where are we? We are just south of Torrey, Utah. My spirits are high right now. Yeah. My this spirits place is have so not been high on the trip. Dude, I've never had tuna that tastes so good. I mean, the original hope was that we'd be going ptarmigan hunting. But uh, in the end, it uh, didn't work out quite like that. Uh, but we found out soon before we left that uh, it was all under like four feet of snow. We decided to go coyote hunting after found out that going to the UNS wasn't gonna work out, so. Coyote hunting it is is something we always wanted to do and Christian knew of a spot. So after spending the night at Christian's house, we left the next morning. Probably a better plan than storming the snow in the UNS. Yeah, and like up here it's thunderstorms like lightning and thunder and stuff. And I just don't know what it is over there. Cloudy. Probably the same. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Plus, you always wanted to go coyote hunting, so. This is true. That would be super cool if you guys get something. I know, wouldn't that be legendary? Finding a campsite was hard because we had that river down at the bottom of the canyon, but we ended up driving quite a ways around trying to find a spot to camp that was near the river, but also near where we wanted to go coyote hunting. So that took a long time. We found some cool stuff. Is it a mud bog? No, it's not mud at all. We've got coyote prints in here. Look at that. Yeah, that's a coyote. Oh, we should get so narrow. Let's do this. It's like, yeah, this, uh, this isn't gonna work. No. So do we want to, do we want to camp up there? I think that's the play. That's got to be where we go. Okay. So, maybe we'll set up camp tonight. Yeah. Let's, Should, while let's we're go, here, let's, let's just go hunt. Let's go hunt. It's important to know that hunting for me, Christian, isn't really a family tradition. We're both kind of first generation hunters. I mean, I think of both our parents, our fathers, kind of messed around a little bit with hunting. They go hunting occasionally with friends or we both grew up shooting guns, but no one really taught us how to do this. We were all kind of like figuring this out for ourselves. And this was our big year. We had really put in a lot of work, a lot of research trying to figure out how to hunt. It was just not working out. And this was kind of like the last go for the year. Like we were pretty disheartened. We were pretty, pretty, uh, Want to give up, but this this trip was going to be it. But man, when you don't have anybody to teach you, it is rough. And just like that, all the morale of, ooh, we're here, we're so cool, we're gonna go hunt some coyotes, and it just like, it didn't, <laughs> morale died very quickly in the wind. After about 40 minutes on our first stand, we were just like, we don't wanna do this. And it just felt like, it just felt like the rest of how the rest of the season had gone. I mean, we hadn't gotten anything all season long. We probably hunted grouse five or six times, we probably, Tried to hunt doves once or twice, went on a duck hunt, and just nothing worked. We were over it. And we tried to go rabbit hunting after that, to maybe get some morale. Shot of shame. And shot it was also just right, horrible. Ready? Aim. Chip, 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 chip! Natty!
it was a nail in the coffin on the season at that point, really demoralizing to go out to where we were like, it was the tried and true spot. We thought if all else fails, we'll get some rabbits. And so it just ended up not working. After we uh, we got finished morning in the car, we started looking for other spots to go. And it was kind of the process of Googling, looking on all trails, just trying to find some, somewhere to go. We ended up going online and finding a trail and a, an area of woods just south of Torrey, Utah. We, uh, we found that spot. It looked pretty and uh, it, it ended up being kind of the only option that Life is a lie. So yet, so Thursday, yesterday at at five o'clock, I got off work at four. Five o'clock, I was leaving Logan to go hunt ptarmigan in the Uintas. It is now six o'clock on Friday. In that space of time, we have driven to Springville. We've then driven north of Delta. Stayed the night, then driven to Delta. And so now where are we, Christian? We are just south of Torrey, Utah. Just south of Torrey, Utah. Eight hours of driving so far? And we haven't done anything. No. My spirits are high right now. Yeah, well, my this place spirits is have sick. not been higher <laughs> the whole trip. <laughs> this, earlier today, spirits were very low. Oh my goodness uh, gracious. Let's make camp, dude. Okay. Me and Christian were just talking, and even though we're getting rained on, it's windy. I mean, I'm not cold, but the air temperature is definitely cold. I'm so much happier than earlier today, and now it's sick. We have a heading. Up. We had a tarp, we set up a windshield um, between some trees with that. And uh, or I don't think we started a fire that night. So we, uh, we tried and just couldn't get anything going. So we, uh, we built, uh, we put our tent up, cleared an area, uh, we had... F I had some, some dinner in our tent uh, but it was dark when we when we started and, and dark the whole way through waking up the next morning was a total change of pace open up the tent door and it is just absolutely majestic. We didn't really know the country that we were in because we had we'd hiked in in the dark and so when we opened it it was just a jaw-dropping view, dew covering everything. And we could not wait to get on the trail in this absolutely beautiful place. I've never had
good tuna that tastes so good. You want to come reel me in? Probably neither of us noticed. Down and then up. Down and then up. <laughs> He's standing. <laughs> That's got to be it. I don't understand typography or anything, but this isn't it. <laughs> this isn't it. We're just stopping. <laughs> this is it for me. I see water. Yes! Because what's nice, what's really nice about the van is also, especially winter camping, winter camping in the van. Uh-uh. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, that a boy. Oh, a big one. Oh, he's pretty. Don't hook yourself. No way, no way. He's huge. No fetching way. You got it? Let's get him away from the water. Oh. Yeah, I'll grab the camera. Dude, what kind of fish is this? That looks like a tiger trout, maybe? No, what is that? I don't think so. Brook trout? It it might a... be a brook. I'll have to look it up. That is legendary. Dude. Dude, we actually caught a fish. This trip just got four times as cool. Dude, that sucker's going to taste so good tonight. So good. Just like yeah. glamour shots, dude. It's a pretty fish. It is now Friday, Saturday afternoon, and this is the first time we're having to filter water. What? We need to go to the Grand Teton and then up to the Continental Divide. We just found a new spot after we just unloaded everything, so we're running over to this six spot. We can't Hasty wait. departure. Check out this little hut thing I found. I mean, this is where I'm sleeping tonight. That's what Christian thinks. Expiration date thing on there? Biggest problem I see are those huge boulders. These three guys. One of them has to go. Now we can't move it. But we can still make a lodge in there. Yeah. Take the teepee. Yeah, 100%. Let's do that. Okay, that's that's what we're going to do. So yeah. For a time lapse. <laughs> what we've built so far <laughs> it's quite spacious what you're about to hear is Christian explaining our plan for heating in our lodge full disclosure this plan fails miserably so what's the plan with the fire well so we're gonna have heating in here right that's right it's got to be uh, putting it by the door we can get some smoke coming out we don't die in the night but we're gonna have 
small fire, Indian fire right here. Us laying out here on the sides should give us a good amount of warmth. The back wall is gonna trap some heat. I'm gonna let smoke continue to fill out the top. This is pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Maybe we should move it. The fire? Yeah. It's just like smoking right up in here. Yeah. Think what to do. I, so I know that with chimneys, yeah, they'll smoke up until you get like a if you get a heat current path, yeah, hit it out, then it'll suck all the smoke up. That's what we need to have. It's just wear. Okay, a lot has happened since you last know, with us. It is now dark. Night. We're cooking We're our with about to cook our fish. We have some rice soaking right now. But uh, Christian, what's the biggest change right now? Our chimney. We have a chimney. Well, our chimney. Our chimney. We are, of, it's pretty legit though. We had to build a little stove. We were getting a lot of black blow. Smoke. Yeah, the smoke was just getting in here. And we were going to continue to get back blow. A lot more back blow. <laughs> <laughs> are you still filming? It just came. Are you still filming? <laughs> Keep filming. <laughs> Why was this such a good idea? I can't take it. <laughs> so poorly executed. Some romantic Italian <laughs> lady in the trap. Every time the wind shifted, it would blow smoke right back into our it's trapping all of the smoke. And so we were pulling in the walls of our tent, trying to make it, this chimney work as best as we can. And to make matters worse, it was freezing cold. So we were huddled up next to the very thing that was causing us so much grief. <laughs> <laughs> We look so sad. <laughs> Decrepit. Just. <clears throat> Pain for which there ain't no ointment. So much for excuses. Ugh. Asking me to jump into the frame. Like I don't even have the willpower to like look away from my reflection. <laughs> oh, oh no! 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 no. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Ma, when I get lung cancer, you'll know why. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh. Majestical, but it does look majestical. I would say that. Well, waking up the last morning was an interesting feeling. That morning, I think it always is a complex feeling when you leave something, a campsite behind. You just grow to love the places that have taken care of you. We go on trips to escape reality and to kind of leave the normal behind and. No matter how hard it is, it's not always fun to go back. It's hardly ever fun to go back, to go back to work, to go back to school, to responsibility, but all good things come to an end. We made it. There she is. Woo! Dude, my trunk wasn't broken into and our guns weren't stolen. Oh my gosh! That scared the crap out of me. I thought that was a bear for a second.
Hey guys, it's like 2 30. <laughs> it's about 6 a.m. We reached the end of, oh my goodness, 